when we look at the common terms in psychology, we talk about depression. And depression covers a wide spectrum of experience, from short-lived groom to a deep prolonged immobility of spirit and the body, or a feeling of being pressed down. It is one of the most common forms of emotional disturbance, which can vary in intensity from an everyday attack to a psychotic condition of paralyzing hopelessness. Anxiety, dejection, and a general lowering of activity characterize it. Now, adults, adolescents, and children, Christians and non-Christians, are all susceptible to depression because it is part of the general atmosphere of emotional pollution in which everyone lives in this world. It can be a painful, a painful emotional illness in which the sufferer feels hopeless and in despair, isolated, worthless, and unable to make small decisions. In some cases, it is characterized and accompanied by such features as prolonged weeping, diminished sexual interest, as we noted last week, and or overreacting, creating disorders and disturbed sleep patterns. The mood is black on waking, but this often writes as the day wears on. The depressed person may feel murderous feelings to one's others and or entertain suicidal thoughts. Children show their depression in listlessness, inability to do schoolwork properly, and other physical symptoms because they do not have the verbal skills with which to articulate their distress. Adolescents also express themselves in listless, purposelessness, and their depression is often the results of their search for identity and sometimes the pressure of expectations put upon them. That was more of introduction because we covered that bit last week. But that was a recap to bring you back to what we did last week. So thinking now about causes of depression, you can see a list of these uh, causes and uh, there are more that we have not covered here. First, depression arises from several main causes, though they are always interrelated. They are always interrelated. They are chiefly hereditary. That is number one. That is, to some people, depression can be a handicap which is traceable along the family lines. So there are families where people get more depressed than others. And you may inherit that bread, bread of your parents. You find somebody talking to himself, complaining. It's not a madman. And sometimes they will solve their own problems. Complaining what the others did. And it's all worn out. And uh, unless such a person is encouraged to go to uh, places where you watch uh, church your life, Afro cinema continues, or, or where there is a lot of humor. Such a person from such a family tree may always find himself a very worried person for very sometimes very simple reasons. Very simple reasons. It may look mad, not madness. Hereditary and depression can be that which looks like madness, mild madness, or something that is far, not really madness as such. But you can see some disorder, psychological disorder in this person. There is also chemical Im imbalance. They can also cause depression. Sometimes this is as a result of an illness, childbirth, menopause, okay? And in menopause, you, you call it involutional melancholia, etc. Number three, the after effects. Say 
after a prolonged period of emotional or physical stress. This will write itself after appropriate test. Reaction. Say, to a major change in life experience is another cause. You can remember, I don't know just to rush and say retrenchment, the threats that uh, the government is giving to cut the budget of education in the university. Can you imagine every university has been where would such people if massive university half of it is education? If you retrench in Kenya, Bachelor of Education, and tell everybody do a BA in History and CRE, or BA in Mathematics and Chemistry, or a Bachelor of Science, and then major in Biology and uh, Geography, you be a Biology and uh, Geography teacher when you now stand a, a one-year diploma in education. That in itself can create or will create, because I hear they have already cut funding in Kenya already, in the July budget, that will be read by the minister of uh, universities, because they have already, the government has already cut. Okay, we are watching to see. That can cause, that, the reaction to that can cause, uh, uh, my friend, real depression. Because you can imagine, this person has invested years and years. You are told, no, 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 we are not offering the aid here. Go home. Where are you going? You have invested years and years. By the time you get PhD, you have a 40. Some at 50. And that's when they employ you permanently in most public universities. Without a PhD, no permanent employment. Meaning you started working at 40, at, at 50. After when you are now 55, they tell you, we have sucked you. Where do you go? You are not prepared, you have been leading and spending a lot of money on this. The reaction itself can cause uh, uh, depression. But you can say, if I have papers, can I not go to, to America? Yes, it's a struggle to go to America. Canada, yes, they are looking for such people. Yes, even Kiswahili, even some countries who have, which countries that have started Kiswahili, they are looking for Kiswahili teachers. Yes. Suppose they say, why don't be, so you have to mitigate against certain major changes in life. You must work out creatively a way out to mitigate such things that may come because they can cause things. I don't also want to remind you about the gentleman from Meru. He said, I'm not going to that school. They have transferred me in this secondary school. Uh, they are calling it derocarization, derocarizing schools. Somebody is saying, I'm only having five years to retire. I'm 55. You now take me to another school after, built, after I have built this secondary school. It is posting very good results nationally. You are now taking me to build another one for another society. Far from my home. Not at all. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going. You could see Miguna Miguna saying so. I am not going, I'm not boarding, my friend. Some, that principal ended up committing suicide. He's dead and buried as we are talking. Just two weeks ago, he committed, he died, he's dead, six feet under the soil. He was not cremated. Now, that is dangerous. So the reaction can lead to death. Forget about depression. Reaction itself can cause depression and depression can cause burnout can progress to burnout where you have no east or west or south you are nowhere to go you are broke yeah we were singing when we were young you see i'm so trapped and i don't know what to do so trapped by the situation you don't know what to do and you can die you can die any minute okay those the reactions are bad fatal the change of a job or change of anything. Bereavement, losing the breadwinner in a family. Oh no. Like the man who was sprayed with bullets outside my house here in Changamwe, Mombasa. A businessman, a very successful man. Rich guy who was frats in Baburi, wherever. I don't know. They were just interested in killing him. I wondered, was it a deal gone bad? I don't know what happened. Is it tendering? I don't know. This is Kenya. We are having a lot of things. 
that uh, that look like movies. He was short. He was able to move to where he corrupts. I think he shed a lot of blood, and then he, he corrupts. But he, he still moved on. They are following him, and is you know they are trading one another. They are walking or driving. You know as they are spraying. These guys are driving. Is driving. Move to once. You know he went on until he corrupts finally. So if you rule such a person, such a hand-working man of a young man of that nine years. Who had amassed a lot of wealth. Yeah, you are a woman, you are left a, a widow, is it? A widow within a 39 year old man and a very, uh, you know, a very illustrious man who amassed a lot of wealth within a very short time. So that can make you see life. Hakuna mwingine utapata. Ata ushikane na mwingine, you remarry, my friend. You not get that such a person. You feel I will not get. But you see, the solution is to accept the new self. That's what even Dr. Kabide told people. After 1998, Bombras, through the KBC, the Kenya Broadcasting Corporation, when he was invited to cancel people who lost relative when the American embassy was bombed by terrorists in Kenya in 1998, Kabide told people, accept the new me if you want to live. And that is a philosophy in life. A philosophical uh, and psychological dictum accept the new me always whatever situation you are in healthy sick whatever or poor rich accept the new me because dr kabida would say this good psychoanalyst wonderful psychologist if you had legs now you have one leg because the bomb took away your leg you had a father you lost your father you had a mother, you lost your mother. You had a husband, you lost your husband. You had a wife, you lost your wife. At no marry, uh, to some people, you get so acclimatized with somebody, you, you don't know how to live outside that person. So what do you do? Accept the new situation without that person. Without that person. It is painful drug to gallop. Eh? Painful. Difficult drug to gulp. Kunandawa kumeza, gulping. It is a challenge. So, but accept it and move. There is also divorce. Yes, you don't know where to start. This guy this sees me, he really hates me. He can like anything. He really, she he really hates me. What do I do? Yes, they, 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 they can cause uh, depression. And of course, we say it, accept the new me and move on. Retirement, especially if it involves a lot of status and friends. Yes, we have seen even a headmaster, a wrong serving headmaster. That's why we tell people don't stay in one position for many years. Reach a time when you can say enough is enough and you move elsewhere. Because we have seen an headmaster retiring over primary school. He has served there for 30 years and he master one position. Till he knows nothing else. Yes, and you hear him commanding people at home. He, you people, he doesn't know this is not a class. Or a politician. Some are uh, even advised. If you are a returned politician, just go and become a choir member in a church. Maybe that will help you. If, even if you are so senior, go and play the guitar if you know it. Don't worry you that you are a minister. Accept your new self. Be a villager now. And it will be fine. Loss of lib or faculty. You see, we have already talked about it during the bomb blast. Accept always your new me, your new person, your new status. However low or high, accept it to live. If you don't accept it, you always find yourself in trouble and depressed and unable to enjoy life. Always accept the new statuses and learn creative way of mitigating Whatever comes your way, be prepared to move another step. So there's also what we call cause and identify and book. Haili eleweki. Nika ile amkamba. Nika vindi unika and drama. Haieleweki. Cause and identify and book. Haieleweki. This is referred to as endogenous depression. And this is the hardest to, to terror it. Okay, 
endogenous depression is the result of some deep life long anger which the sufferer has turned in on himself or herself because it is not safe to direct it against the people whom he or she feels may have caused it. Yes. Mwanaume anakaa akisema mimi nitazeeka, nitaoa nikiwa uzeeni au male when I want to use Google's book. You find yourself forte you, when you are not married. And then you try to link up with those youngsters. You realize, no, 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 we are in different generation. You start saying beautiful ones are not yet born. Who told you? They are there. It is you who has a problem. They are there. And now you start getting depressed when you are unable to cope up. Yes, you are unable to cope up. And uh, you even start bringing people, those who got married, you, you, who are of your time, you could have married them, you thought things would get better. If people think men don't get married, uh, depressed over marital issues. They do. Mm. Sometimes you feel you may want to blame those who caused it, those who didn't uh, become aggressive to tell you to have taken the step of marrying at the right time. Because you thought you were a man, age doesn't matter. It does matter. Anyway, you always have a solution. Conclusion. People sometimes regard depression as a spiritual attack. It may be obviously a person's vulnerability is likely to be the first that corrupts and strain. I mean, depression may start from where you are more vulnerable or weak. For manic depression is a condition in which there are periodic mood swings between depression and euphoria. There are times when you feel like hyperactive, okay? So over-motivated. There are times when you are so down manic depression. A severely depressed person is in need of medical help, particularly if there is a risk of self-injury. Yes, when you feel like you want to box the fellow who caused you some pain somewhere. You find yourself hating the war. Nangumi yako. Na waswahili wanasema. Apigae ngumi ukutani. Sijui huumia mwenyewe. I'm also unable to put it the way it should be. If you hate the war, if you shadow box, not even shadow box, uh, when you box the war, you, you hurt your hand. And if you reach such a level, of course, that requires some treatment. It may require serious treatment, sometimes even consulting the medical practitioners. Yes, there could be uh, some drugs that may be needed in your body to bring you back to, uh, to normal. But also, you should learn to treat yourself, to know you accept yourself, and now know where you are going wrong, and try to switch off, or to move away from the ideas that depress you. So you can also be the best teacher, the best uh, therapist to yourself. You treat yourself. A severely depressed person is in need of medical help, okay? And there are therapeutic drugs which can be of great use. The, but drugs may not necessarily be the solution. The issue is to learn to accept your problem and start working uh, in a manner that will treat that problem. Depression can be cyclical in nature, especially when one drug, when only drugs are used, with no attempts to search for the root cause to treat it. Yeah, the root, knowing the psychological background or digging it out is important because once you know to nashinda he hereditary problem, then utakuwa nashinda tena. You will not have problem again because you have known how to go about your people's problem. If you know, like I personally said, I'll never drink beer. I never drank beer when I was young. Yet I got a job immediately after A levels. And a job. TSC employee, I got a job almost immediately, but I had my share of problems. Uh, so I, I was looking for a job like no other, at least to solve my little problems that I had encountered in the upbringing. So I needed a job, and I got it. 
as early as 1989, I, I was teaching in high school when I was barely 20, around 20 years. And uh, when I was teaching, when money had power, yes, little money could do a lot, uh, I was being called by people, can you go for a drink? But I knew my people, nobody drank in my family and made it. I have not seen so far, they made it in life. I saw very senior fellows getting sacked after overdoing it. So I knew our people, our hereditary does not allow us. My father was doing construction work before he was arrested and put into detention here in Manyani as a funding in funding Mau Mau. So I said, if I get there and my father didn't do well, the time I'm told he was drinking, I didn't find him drinking, I'd stopped. But the times he took, drinking he failed a lot i looked at my brothers who are older than me as the last one in a big family of eight i said if i do like they do i'll fail and i don't want to fail so i didn't drink not because i was a christian no 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 the issue was ability to follow my genealogy and noted that it didn't work it has never worked even for these youngsters from uh, my siblings who get to drinking they end up failing. Whether they are lawyers, they fail. Senior police officers, they fail. So if we can overcome, and an uncle who stopped, who never drank, he died having done a lot. So for a Christian, depression can be difficult to endure, especially if the victim concludes that God has forsaken him. He, she may think he is in the company of Job, David, of the depressed Psalms, Elijah and others. He, she should be prayed for. Short prayers, short biblical verses. Yeah, and Romans 8 and 39 for those who are Christian says, who can separate us from the love of God? Not even depression. Kitu gani kita nitenga nisha na huyu mungu wangu. Ni depression apana ni mekata kabisa. That is a Christian. Some are not Christians. They must have another mitigating style, even if it's a song, even if it is, if it is keeping off certain company, certain very rich fellows who make you feel like a, a dog or an insect because they make you feel very small. You can keep off from them and life continues. If they are the people who depress you, just identify what is that which depresses you. Yes, you can keep a company that makes you stand strong. Okay, okay, all that. Now, coming to stress there and down, I can see we have 15 minutes. Stress is a human reaction to change. It is a physical and psychological strain, usually lasting for a period of time, and which threatens the ability of a person or an animal to go on coping with a given situation. The first person, person to describe stress was a man by name Hans Serie, who died in 1982, was born 1907. So it's like he lived for, is it, uh, 94 years? Is it so? No, 74 years. Serie. Uh, Osil described distress with its harmful results in suffering, pain, or disease, where eustress was his word for challenging, for challenging pressures, which may be good and present. The term stress is used in two distinct ways. One, to describe the causes, that is, Stressors, stressors, which are outside pressures associated with changes. And number two, to describe the results of internal and external pressures, as in the saying, I feel all stressed up. So what causes stress? Of course, to me, I see stress as simpler than depression. To me, life, uh, it, we start with the stress. Like you are feeling just uncomfortable. 
then it graduates to depression where it is more visible and more pronounced. And then after depression, it graduates to burnout, where you are totally out of yourself. And what about burnout? Well, it graduates to madness. You are totally in the streets. But because these are psychological issues, they can be treated. Even the fellow on the streets, they can be treated and they can, then can come back home. So what causes uh, stress. Of course, if you go to my home, Kagumo town, we have uh, we have counted with another uh, gentleman uh, politician. We counted them to be around 49 at one stage. Those guys who come up after drugs, after fearing in their ambitions, fellows who are walking there as manned people. 99.9% .9 they are not manned people. They are stressed and actually stressed, depressed, and eventually burned out people. It's a burnout that they came out to the, to the local town. They are not manned. They can be treated. Yes, we can talk for another day on why I insist they are not manned. They walk like manned people, spend in the streets, they are treat, they are, can be treated. Yes, if we follow the psychological background. So, the causes of stress, loss of spouse, you can see like depression, childbirth can cause stress, changes such as retirement you have noted there, redundancy or broken relationship. Our coping abilities may decide whether changes result in a stress-related breakdown or in a happy issue out of all the troubles. A breakdown may be diagnosed as an adjustment disorder. Now, who are at a greater risk of stress? The ambitious and the warriors are at a very high risk of physical illness. So when you are a very ambitious person, you got a C in Form 4, you wanted an A, okay? If it comes, the difference is so big, you expected an A, you got a C. But if you expected an A, you got a B, the stress may not be too big. Yeah. People who are too ambitious to succeed quickly, they have those stresses. So all of us, to me, as far as I'm concerned, we have stresses here and there. They keep coming, but the smaller they are, the better. Our ability to cope, the better. Uh, yes. And uh, the sorts of harmful stresses. Of course, stress leads to anxiety, hey, restlessness. Symptoms of depression, as in grief reactions, may follow. Prolonged harmful, harmful pressures lead to stress-related disorder, like high blood pressure, okay? uh, neurodermatitis, colitis, and peptic ulcers. It is sometimes called burnout, fatigue, and frustration. So such burnouts are common with professions and business posts with a strong vocational element. That's why we tell everyone, don't be a die hand of anything. Don't love somebody too much. Because if that person withdraws the, the love for you, where will you be? A lot of answers, a lot of burnouts that I told you burnout can, takes you to a, 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 a month madness level so nothing should be taken so seriously that you have no room even if you go to politics politics to contest a seat prepare two speeches the victory speech and uh, which other one conceding speech ya kukubali kushindwa na waswahili husema kalume your father was an mp mze kalume the man who composed the Kenya National Anthem as we sing it today. Your father, it's your father. That's a fact in history. Kenya should not forget this. But he should have, I'm sure, he should have known or he should have told you that you prepare two speeches. Victory speech or conceding speech. If you don't prepare, it can come on this other side or the other. You are in trouble. Even now, the so-called Kieleweke Tanga Tanga divines prepare anyone can beat the other. That's what I would tell you from a psychological perspective. If you don't prepare to win or lose, 
be prepared for depression. Okay? And did you see the stress, depression, burnout, madness? These are cousins. And they can be avoided if we are prepared, if prepare both ways, and also prepare the fallback position. Kikiumana namna hii, tuende wapi? We have various places to go. And these various places are the creative work of creative creativity, creative works. If not, we are in trouble. Yes, and we don't have to get into, to, into trouble. Okay? There are these, those who read the Bible have what we call relaxing techniques thereabout. Like Psalm 46 verse 10. It says, be still and know that I'm God. Isaiah 41 Verse 10, it says, Fear not, for I'm with you. Do not be dismayed, for I uphold you with my victorious right hand. So there are a lot of uh, scriptural, religious uh, verses to comfort us when we are faced with the depressive moment, stressful moment, even when we are burned out. Although burned out, you may not now control it. You don't get anything. A simple burnout in classroom. I remember there are times when I had studied too much without resting. Hey, sometimes when I was a student somewhere in St. Paul's University, the, my third ear, I couldn't hear anything new. I, I really felt I wanted to go home and overran because I really wanted to know. So we need breaks. Other is bar academic burnout, which are also simple. They also disappear with the time, but you can't hear anything new. So you need breaks and sometimes going f swimming, you know, going to church, you life fun, you love it off, then you come back to study. Otherwise, if you go without resting, without breaking, we have a problem. That's why even the, in this course, we are not doing it continuously. We, we do it within two hours. We believe you, we will burn you now. We need to give you time to rest. Yeah, I want to stop there for today, unless for questions. Next week we look at defense mechanisms because they are very important for us in our survival. If you look at defense mechanism, we can't continue beyond there. Now we leave you to ask questions yourself. Yeah, any comment, any comment now because we come to defense mechanism. We've not take, gone very far today. But uh, we did not want to rush things. Our agenda is to know more. Any question, any comment, uh, we can now have a discussion.